Here's an alternative investment that I'm sure Bernard Arnault knows all about. It's Europe's biggest contemporary art fair, and it opens in London today. 173 galleries representing 33 countries have set up shop in the specialist site in Regent's Park in London. In total, some $350 million worth of paintings, sculpture and mixed media will go on sale. Once again, freeze will be the first test for the art market after a volatile summer that saw billions wiped off the stock markets. We might have expected things to be going quite slowly. People are, of course, cautious given the volatility in the market. But it's got a very good atmosphere. You can tell the sales are really happening, so it's, it's, it's a good start. So, will the risk of recession put buyers off? Olivia Stearns was at the fair's exclusive launch, and she joins us now. I'm just wondering what the, how you sense the mood among some of these investors. Well, Owen, oh, it's simply fun. <laughs> Yesterday was the VIP day. That's the day when all the big collectors and celebrities go down and take a tour and try and get first dibs on all the really hot pieces. But there really was a mood of caution. You know, last year I got the sense that there was kind of a frenzy. People were racing through the gates to try and get their hands on stuff. But yesterday, definitely a mood of caution. I caught up with the director of the Pace Gallery in London. There, it's a big gallery in New York. Now they're moving to London and asked her what she was selling. People are, seem, to, seem to be spending, spending on, on, on the important works, maybe spending cautiously, maybe asking a lot of questions, but it seems to me that people are, you know, we have some very high quality works and people seem to be prepared to buy them. Now it's not too surprising that the Pace Gallery is selling well because they're really known for the big blue chip names, the seven figure artists. They had Chuck Close, Alexander Calder, William de Kooning. But the question is, will the lower down stuff sell? And we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, let's not forget, we talk an like, awful lot about doom and gloom on this program, I have to say, and talk about recession. There are still a lot of people with a lot of money out mm -hmm. there. So who exactly is buying? Well, the fair has been getting increasingly international for the past couple of years. And there were many Europeans, but there were also floods of people from the emerging markets. I caught up with the director of the Museum Everything, James Brett, and asked him who he thought was spending. The Russians are an art-consuming operation. There's a lot of Chinese, but they seem to go for the wine. So it's, it's hard to tell. The classic collectors are all here, and you can usually spot them because they have thick glasses in circles. Those are the ones with the big wallets. All right, he's joking there, but he's not actually wrong. There are a lot of standout glasses out there at the fair. And James is part of the Museum of Everything, which is one of the satellite events to the Freeze Fair. That's one of the things that's so cool about the week is that there are dozens of these satellite fairs, and the Museum of Everything is set up in Selfridges right now. Uh, interesting. Uh, other highlights you can tell us about? Glad you asked. There's a lot of incredible stuff, from the pretty tame black and white sketches to the truly outlandish, bizarre installations full of debris. But there are two things I want to highlight for you. First of all, there was a 75 million euro Riva Supriot. There Ooh, it is. Ooh, I like that. It's by an artist called Christian Jankowski. It's 65 meters wide. And what you get is just an artist certified yacht. It's just a regular Riva commissioned yacht, but with him designating the art, it adds 10 million euros onto that price tag. Now, on the very other end of the spectrum, I want to highlight something called the credit card destroying machine. I think we have some video of it. It's by an artist called Michael Landy. It's for 120,000 pounds. And what you do is you take a credit card. Here we go. You take a credit card, you pop it in the machine. There he goes. And it will draw you a sketch for free. That's 120,000 pounds. But you know what? That actually has a reserve on it. An item here that anyone was trying to buy up those yachts. So that might be an indication that that kind of anti capitalist mood is in vogue right now at the fair. For 120,000 yeah. pounds. That really is not particularly anti capitalist, is yeah. it? But Olivia, thank you very much indeed. Anything you, you thought you might actually pick up yourself? I was, I was going for the yacht. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I, shall, I shall join you there at the weekend. Yes. Thank you.